guys. So um, today I just found this old, old pair of um, sandals that were being thrown out and uh, they're quite high quality sandals. So I decided, well, what could I do with them? So in this video, I'm going to be making a small, not too powerful, but um, still great to have fun with, slingshot. So let's get into this. To start off, we're going to need to remember this sandal. So I'm going to try to cut it up to get all these little bits, like um, these little like cross beams, like here, here, and here. You see, I've already remembered the other one, and it's that bits from the middle bit there. Anyway, so um, you're going to be wanting to find a small patch, like here, um, and this will be your pocket. Now, of course, there are lots of different sized ones, but you're going to want to find one which sort of suits your fingers. So this one is pretty good. It's going to hold small rocks and uh, this will be pretty good for my purpose. So you're going to want to cut that out, like so. And then, you also want to find a piece of elastic. Now this bit was on my sandal, so that was about that length. Now, on this, you're going to want to cut out two holes, one about here, and one about here. Once you've done that, you can slide the rope in through here, and out through the other side over here. I'm um, using this, and you get something that looks a bit like this. And this will be your pocket. Now, to make it a bit stronger, I've taken a uh, needle and I've sewn it on. Quite a slap job, but, you know, it doesn't need to be um, amazing quality. Anyway, so, that's going to be your pocket. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to make a um, something to attach this to. And, uh, should be on business. Now, I was watching a, um, a channel that I like a few months ago called Backyard Boa and um, in that video he made a PVC a PVC bow um, so I decided to take that design and to make a you know a slingshot handle out of it so it's half wood by you know carving out a wooden handle cutting um, with a saw down here and using two bolts to secure it in there and uh, yeah so I've just heated it up and then bent it. Um, so I think I'm going to drill some holes through here and through here, and attach it in there. And it's got quite a strong grip, but probably won't need that. Now it didn't turn out as I liked it, and these uh, wings here aren't amazingly strong, as you can see. So I don't think it'd be used for anything more powerful than this. So it's a great use of this. Now they're quite easy to make and I hope you can sort of work out how to build this. You can just use a forked piece of uh, piece of wood. Should suffice perfectly. So there we go. I've got the uh, sling put onto the um, actual handle bit. And uh, since it's dark I haven't been able to give it too much testing. And I've got to pop up to something in the morning which, which will uh, occupy me all week. So I won't be here for a video this week. But... It looks pretty cool. Um, it's not immensely powerful, as I said before, but it is great fun. It shoots rocks about this size, with ease, about 10 to 20 meters, you know, better than most Nerf guns. And yeah, that was practically free to make. Scrap piece of PVC, an old shoe, and a piece of wood, found everywhere. So yeah, hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you can join me next time for my next build.